want to make a dinosaur is is really to satisfy the children. And we chose a bird because birds are the di direct descendants of dinosaurs. So they, in fact, are uh, living dinosaurs. But the project really is about figuring out how to turn ancestral genes on and how to turn them off. And in the end, we think that these kinds of studies will help us understand uh, a lot about uh, genetic diseases and things like that. But this is the fun way to do it. The tools that we use are, are really genetic engineering. We go into the embryo of, of a bird and uh, and either switch its genes on or switch its genes off to get certain characteristics to uh, grow in the embryo as the animal is developing. So in the case um, to make a dino chicken, one of the things that needs to have is a long tail. And so during development, when the embryo is beginning to grow, a bird has a long t has a tail, but then a gene turns on and destroys it. So we're looking for that gene so that we can stop it from being destroyed. Uh, we actually know how to grow teeth in a bird. Um, we have found the gene for teeth, and so so we actually could hatch a bird with teeth if we wanted to. But before we do that, we want to. We want to make. We want to add some other characters. So, one of the characters is uh, the long tail, and another one is to transform the 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 wing, actually into an arm and and a three-fingered hand. During development, the embryo actually has three fingers, and then they fuse together to make the wing. And so we're looking for the gene that fuses them together, so we can hatch with a three-fingered hand. And so we figure if a bird has teeth, arms with hands, and a long tail, it will look enough like a dinosaur that children will be satisfied. The, the reason we're pretty sure that we have, that there are three genes that are necessary to make major changes is because these are what we call atavistic genes. And these are genes that, that actually, you know, every once in a while a bird is born with a tail. Just like children every once in a while are born with a tail. Uh, that means that the genetic pathway is still intact. It's still there. It hasn't changed. So we're just, we're trying to find those atavistic genes that will allow us to basically do the same thing that nature does. Okay, it, it seems very easy, but is it really that easy? No, uh, a colleague of mine likens it to the moon project. Um, we know we can do it. It's just, it'll take some time and it'll take some money. But we've got a lot of people working on it now and we expect that we will be able to make a dino chicken in the next four years. But is it really enough to have a chicken with long tails and teeth to say it's a dinosaur? Yes, it is because birds are dinosaurs to start with. So all birds are dinosaurs. And so, so we don't really have to do anything. I mean, we want to make the bird look more like a dinosaur at least what we think of as a dinosaur, an animal with a long tail, then we need to fix the chicken. Okay, but in this way you are uh, building something new. I mean, you are not uh, rebuilding a dinosaur that really existed in the past. We are not resurrecting dinosaurs from the past. We're resurrecting their ancestral characters, but not the animal themselves. We cannot make a Tyrannosaurus rex. But in the future, we might be able to get a lot closer. Since you were a child, you always wanted a pet dinosaur. You see. I have, yes. Um, so you are close to reach for your dream. What will you do with this 
pet dinosaurs. Well, How I'll, will you raise it? I'll take it to some conferences. <laughs> I will, I will, I will raise it in the chicken coop with the rest of the chickens. <laughs> and it'll chase the chickens around. <laughs> I think it's like, it's like breeding dogs, you know, I mean, people like a variety of dogs for pets. Uh, basically a dino chicken is the same thing. It's an animal that we have, instead of breeding over thousands of years, we have changed its genes quickly. But basically it's an animal we have, we have made. <laughs>